Good day, everybody. I hope you're having a great Tuesday so far, and I forgot to turn the light on. Come on, Sean. Oh, okay. This is a little later than usual. Adobe Live is having their master class this week, so, you know, I jumped in when I can. Uh, Matthias, hello. Stuart, A. Hey. Jennifer, uh, sort of lurking while working or studying. Okay, so Jennifer doesn't know if they're lurking, working, or studying. <laughs> okay. I hope you're all having a great day. Let's go ahead and get this started. Doris, hello. We're going to be looking at your work, Doris, shortly. Hello, everybody. My name is Sean Kozel. I'm a photographer. I am based in Germany. If you're watching this on Behance and you click on my icon that's all the way up that way, it'll take you to my homepage, which this is where you can check out my past work. You can scroll over to my past live streams and check out 200 and whatever I've got. If you like what I do, feel free to subscribe. Also, I've got a ton of links. If you're watching this on YouTube or Twitch, within the description, you will see a link tree link. Link tree link. Yeah, something like that. Burnt hello. Uh, which looks like this. If you would like to jump in and check out the um or jump in with the Behance chat, which is always going crazy. Devlin, hello. Devlin says I lurk. Um, you can actually jump into Behance right there, or you can join, and <laughs> you can join my Discord. We'll be taking a look at that. So, very cool. Um, that's about all I want to talk about uh, about myself. Let's jump into the Discord. So, if you're new to my Discord, I got a few things I'd like to tell you. First off, let me jump into announcements. Gareth, hello. Uh, just so you know, we have Adobe is hosting a special event in London. Let me click on this. Put this into chat for all of you. And making sure I'm in the right one. Okay, so this is the Ado Adobe Community event. It is going to be April 15th, so it's coming up quick. Ooh, the Fickling Brothers should be going. That would be awesome, Stuart. I want to hear about it because I'm not going to be able to make it. Um, I should be going, but the problem is there's there, things could be getting in the way. So I don't know. Um, but they're going to be checking out Adobe Express and also Firefly. Oh, Matias says that I'm going to be there looking forward to it. Even an Angus might tag along. Angus, tag along. Wow. Yes, bring us, bring, bring. <laughs> Gareth says, bring back the news to the unwashed masses. Yeah. So that is um, for the UK peeps or anybody that wants to travel to London on April 15th. For the rest of us, let me go ahead and put this in which isn't still not me, not happy about it, but other upcoming events. You can see we've got one happening April 20th in New York. So Bruce, I'm looking at you. Viola, I'm looking at you. And then we've got April 26th in San Francisco. Lydia, hey. So I don't see one for like Berlin or Munich yet. So that's kind of the one I'm waiting for. Uh, but those are the community events coming up. So this is cool. Keep your eyes open if I figure anything out. If I hear anything, I will definitely pass it along to you. Um, keep an eye out on the announcements. 
I will tag everybody on my Discord if anything comes up like that. Henrik, hello? Kansu, hello? That is a nice name. I like that name. So, check that out. Um, Henrik says, I try right now an event for Germany in June. Hope that can happen. Ooh, I hope so, Henrik. Definitely keep us posted because I'll go to that one. Uh, Munich would be nice. Berlin is always wonderful to go to. Okay, next off, I've got your photos to edit. In the future, I will be doing a how I would edit your photos. We've got a ton of photos that have been added, and Stephen Booth added a few more. So um, I've got a ton of photos. But if you have unedited photos and you would like to see how I would edit them, put them there. I will, I will edit them. Also, if you've got community artwork that you'd like to artwork you'd like to share with the community, that is, or projects you would like to share, that is where you post them there. Also, we have shop links. Bruce is not here. You speak of the devil. Speak of the devil. Look at that. I say Bruce three times and he shows up. <laughs> Bruce, I don't know if you know this. There's a community event happening. April 20th, New York. So scroll up or um, that's not on my. You know what? Let me put this in. Um, man, see, let's jump back in. Here, I'll put the link into my discord. Um, at everyone. Can I spell it right? Future Adobe Meetups. Sandrine, hello. No, I cannot spell. Future Adobe Meetups. Okay, Umicorn. Yep, send it to everybody. Okay, there you go. Take a look at that uh, for San Francisco and New York on the upcoming dates. I am not. Also, if you're into Firefly um, and you'd like to share your work with the community, we have a Firefly community page here. Uh, there's just been some amazing work that has been going on here. Uh, Bruce has been doing a bunch. Oliver, this we took a, I think we, yeah. I was playing around with mats, maps. You've got about four minutes until Adobe Live turns up. Thank you, Oliver. Hello. Four minutes. Why four minutes? Uh, but there's just a lot of really cool prompts. Good creation going on. I'm I'm digging. Gareth is is crushing the Firefly. Michelle is doing a great job with the balloon dogs. I'm digging that one. Henrik just popped this one in. Very nice, Henrik. Thank you. But it's really it it's really interesting. Let me scroll up. Um because Gareth has been able to get text to work. And that is absolutely so impressive. And it takes a ton of work. Um, and I'm discovering that as you are generating artwork, you're generating. But there's a lot of skill or talent or, or just stubbornness that goes into it to actually generate something that you actually, you want. So, Doris says, Gareth can't get away from Firefly. No, no. Um, all right, let's continue on. We're going to jump down here. For those of you that may be new, I am doing a community challenge. And tomorrow is the last day. So the community challenge under challenges right there. Let me switch sides. So my head's not blocking anything click on that we'll have to remove my inner ethernet cable that i don't doubt that i don't doubt 
Uh, there has been some great work coming in late. Uh, for those of you that were not here, this is the poster that I made uh, on Thursday. Justin jumped in with this one. Um, he wrote, my reach in for the creative circus. Let's get the clown out of Ukraine, I guess. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. Very nice, Justin. Why is everybody laughing? Hold on. Let me see. Let me scroll up. Okay. All right. Just seeing what I missed. Moving on. Now, again, great example of Gareth. Oh, there we go. Hello, Adobe Live. My name is Sean Kozel. We are looking at my community challenge of um, Creative Circus, which ends tomorrow. Thumbs up. Adobe Live is here. Bang on time, Oliver says. Yeah, wow. I guess I didn't realize that. But uh, Gareth did a wonderful job getting the Creative Circus. I know and I understand that you, it's almost impossible to spell it the correct way for the challenge uh adobe firefly just says no no we're not gonna have it but that's great gareth lydia created this poster let's make this big uh the one critique lydia is there's just way too many uh sean kozels <laughs> grab people from chat general hello there I but I really dig this you did a great job uh this is kind of scary up here I I don't know what's going on with the finger there um Stuart says one of one is enough that is true that was the gimmick oh creative circus presents Chris Teller the fortune cookie manager oh unfolds little sean's secret life in circus in cinema's april 5th it does look painful uma <laughs> lydia says sean got all the posts i i kept getting cast i i you know i auditioned and they said sure and i also got the oscar for best oscar best director <laughs> Best Actor, Winner, Best Short Film, and Best Film. <laughs> Oliver says, The Sean Kozel Show with Sean Kozel. Sean Kozel featuring Sean Kozel and guest appearance from Sean Kozel. I'm getting sick of me now. Oh my gosh. I've got a new one, new one with some feathers. I'd like to see that. Keep them coming. We've got one day left. But that is a lot of fun. Okay, wait, let me get back here. That was just weird. <laughs> let's let's go through that again. You added look at this. Okay. <clears throat> Look up here. You actually added like the cut finger. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh. <laughs> that's just that's not right. That's not right. <clears throat> oh my goodness. Okay. Need to get out of that. Hit escape. We've got umicorns. <clears throat> yeah, let's go big. Let's go big with these. Those were tomato sauce. I don't, I don't trust you. <laughs> Somebody get a Band-Aid. Uh, Doris says, question, do you write circus or circus in English? We write, okay. Dor, I mean, <clears throat> this is a good one. 
Now, we in English, it's general. In English, it's C I R C U S. Okay. Now, the reason that I chose the spelling of using the K's, Caroline, hello, is to have an Instagram post. And let me switch here really quick. And if anybody's planning on doing any type of challenges like this, Gareth Hanks taught me this. And what you want to do is to make sure that you are using a hashtag that's not being used by anybody else. So create the correct spelling of Creative Circus was used a lot by a lot of different people. So spelling it with a K and then a K in circus, um, it gave me my own hashtag on Instagram that nobody else is using. So um, that's why I did it. Tony, hashtag not being used by anyone else. Good day, Tony. Guten Tag. Guten Tag. Um, everybody, if you, if you are new here, click on Tony Harmer's um, icon. Give him a follow. He will be going live in a couple hours. Um, yeah, in, in like two hours. So make sure to give Tony a follow. Absolutely Adobe God. I'll just, I'll leave it at that, Tony. I don't mean to make you blush. Um, I just call it the way I see it. <laughs> What's Sandrine? Hashtag, hashtag my precious. Oh my gosh. Um, I will, and thanks for the shout out. No problem, Tony. Anytime. Um, so that was Lydia, I think, that asked that about spelling circus doris 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 i'm sorry uh so i hope hopefully that explains it doris all right we are going to be checking out umicorns and umicorn was has been making this ticket for quite a while and absolutely did a wonderful job uh so she's got a question for all of you in chat we have three different tickets or if you're german three um and wants to know which one you like. So this is the first one. And the big changes that you'll see are gonna be the elephant here and also the tents at the top. So we've got our first one right here. Our second one and the big change there, different, we've got three tents and the outline of the elephant here. The one, two, and then three, with the tents at the bottom and the two elephants at the top. Personally, and you know what? Let's do this a little different. Let me let me change this up. Come on, Sean. Come on, you can do it. I just screwed them all up. By the way, Tony, if you're still here, will you be going to the London meetup? Bree, hello. <clears throat> okay, so one is on the right hand side. So I got these backwards, but let's let me change this. Oh, what just happened? Okay, it doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, Oliver says I like one and three. I agree. You know you can create three docked windows in Photoshop. I'm not in Photoshop. I'm in Chrome. <laughs> Bruce says I like three. Uh, that's reserved for my family, Tony says. Stuart says I'm leaning towards three. Windows arrange three vertical. I'm not in Photoshop yet. <laughs> Come on. 
Uh, I have to agree. My favorite is this one here with the two elephants. Um, and I, I told Uma which one I liked. I, but this one for me does it. No, Sandrine, it's okay. You can, you don't have to go back to your lair. You can stay with the big boys. <laughs> okay. Uh, my favorite one is the one with my face. General. <sighs> Tony says, reserved for my family, related to the Adobe event. It's at a weekend, so I won't be there. Ooh. Tony, absolutely respect that. I've, I, I was going to go. My wife's telling me to go. But uh, there's a possibility of scheduling issues with my wife. So I'm not going. All right. <clears throat> Doris says, love the work with two elephants. All right. I think we have a winner. I think we have a winner. So let's go ahead. Close those down. Dock that. Chat has spoken, Uma. So, two elephants, three tents. I said that right. Two elephants, three tents. Yep. <sighs> okay. Jump back into my Discord. Uh, Lydia says the one with two elephants. Frog. Hello. Uh, again, Gareth showing off his tech skills in Firefly. Text skills. Um... Yeah, you know, I, I don't even know what language this is, but one Sean, two elephants, and three tents. <laughs> uh, three, three tents, two elephants, and one Sean. That ah, doesn't work. Mona, good morning. I'm digging that. Uh, oh, continue to play with the elements. I tried another version to enrich, enrich the con content. Oh, this is the feather you're talking about. Okay. I'm, I'm telling you, I'm just still freaked out. <laughs> In a band-aid. Uh, I like it. Okay, I get the feather now. The fortune teller hat. Gotcha. Gotcha. Those finger trigger something in me. Sandrine, I bet. But remember, Sandrine. Okay, hold on. This is big head mode. Sandrine, breathe. It is not an avocado. It's a fortune teller ball. Breathe, Sandrine. Uh, General says, how is it being directed by Lydia? Is it being directed by Lydia now? Oh, it is. Oh. I've been... I've been demoted. I got fired. Sandrine's doing an avocado and a knife. It's not funny, though. I did not laugh. <clears throat> but you got four credits. I'm, I'm just the help. Sean was too expensive and over budget. That I don't doubt. Lydia, great work. I'm digging that. Doris, let me put this into chat so everybody can follow along. If you would like. All right. The door says, here's my illustration for the Challenge Creative Circus. I've wanted to paint a surreal, dark painting for a long time, and this challenge suited it very well. Also, I finally managed to paint a complete illustration in Adobe Fresco without switching to Photoshop. I love this on so many levels. Okay. Wait, Tony's saying, have you ever seen the Super Geek League Circus? The hallucination engine? I have not, Tony. But I think you just found a stream for you uh, to make. <laughs> you make one in Illustrator. I got to Hold on. Let me take a screenshot of that really quick. I'm going to have to look that up. Okay. 
I'm going to I'm going to check that out. Um This is awesome. This is absolutely so good, Doris. I love the expression. I love the mood. Um uh, the elephant the tent I mean just just so much stuff oh gosh Sandrine I'm scared to click on that why did I make you a mod whoa <laughs> okay wow I'll, I'll, I'll leave that up leave that over there Uh, yeah, absolutely great work. The atmosphere, the texture that you've got, um, wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. That's, that is great. Um, just so everybody knows, unless you are asked or you're one of my moderators, uh, don't put links into chat, please. Thank you. Uh, I'm more than happy to show off everybody's work, but only if I ask for it. All right. Doris, absolutely wonderful job. I, I don't know what else to say. Wow. Or links. We, we don't we don't need how if we want to actually find you and you're here in chat, say hi first. No, no, Tony. That was completely relevant due to the fact we're talking about circuses. Ah, Tim. Hi, first. Okay, where's your where's your links, Tim? <laughs> Get the poster out. Frank. Hi, first. Ah, uh, okay. Absolutely wonderful work. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Sorry, I screwed up. Let me reopen this. Uh. Always make sure when you scroll down, you scroll through. Oh, we've got process. I didn't even go through this project yet. By the way, I don't know if I actually said it or if you remember, Tim. It's, it's so nice to have you back. Always make sure that you give it appreciation and just write some love. Just send some love. <laughs> At new user. Oh, oh, general. That is, that is, I mean, new user. That's funny. That's funny. Okay. Oh, we have another firefly jumping in late. Oh, Henrik. Henrik's coming in hot and heavy. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. So, <clears throat> let's see. For today, I was thinking about a couple different things that I may want to do. It is the last day for the Creative Circus. Creative Circus Challenge right here. Um, it, the deadline for the prizes, for those of you that do not know, we'll be giving away a waterproof Bluetooth speaker. Um, that's what we're, there's going to be two winners. So that's going to be one prize. The second prize is going to be a bum bag, a fanny pack, a bag, um, a banana bag, whatever, however you call it, whatever you're at. And, um, then there's some enamel pins I'll be throwing in. So there's going to be two winners. One of them I will choose. And the second one will be a random, uh, random winner. And the deadline is tomorrow, April 5th at 1159 PM CEST. So get your work in and you can use the, you can post it onto my discord. Let me share screens again. You can post it on my Discord under, let me get to the challenges, the Creative Circus feed, or if you post it to Instagram, please make sure to use the hashtag Creative Circus because that's the only way I'm going to see it. 
<laughs> All right. <clears throat> so we do not want to start there. Um, let me open something up. And I know I did a did a poster last Thursday, and I had fun doing it. So I think I want to do another one today. Lydia says I'm going to re-edit the fingertip for sure. <clears throat> Lydia, okay, we need to talk about that. Let's talk about that really quick. Let's get back in. Uh, ch -ch. Let's open this up. Here's the issue, Lydia. This is the only problem that I have. You have a contrasting color with the blue, with the red happening right there. And it is really sticking out. That is the only problem that I have. And I know it's supposed to be jelly or sauce or something like that. But the problem is your eye is drawn to the highest, brightest, most contrast area which is of course here the white um and then you also have the white feather up here so as your as your eye goes through the poster it gets drawn into this red part um that's honestly that's the only reason i wouldn't it's kind of funky like what happened like is is this crystal ball sharp i don't know but that's the only reason. And it's totally up to you. If you want to edit it, you've done different versions of it. So you don't have to. It's up to you. But okay. Let me get back into here. So <clears throat> while I was playing with Firefly and I am trying really hard not to jump into Firefly so often. Um, by the way, I know Jane, Lady Jane, is not here, but uh, her stream this morning, she is the first person that I have seen go from Firefly into Adobe Express. She beat me, and I'm an Adobe Express ambassador. I failed. I've used it in Illustrator, I've used it in Photoshop, and I didn't take it into Adobe Express. <laughs> I think I'm going to lose my Adobe Express badge. All right, so... Um, one of the things that I was work playing with today is really going along. <laughs> oh, you guys are vicious. Bruce says, shame, shame. General says, by the way, welcome back, General. General says, don't fail me again, ambassador. <laughs> uh, unfollow Stuart. That's vicious. Devlin says, gasp. At least nobody fainted. That's that's a good sign. Okay. Uh, so I was playing with some um, retro circus posters. And that's pretty much all I did. And then I gave it some, some parameters. But I was like, okay, this is just fun. Oh my gosh, this is fun. Um, I do not have the ability to make this but I just kind of wanted to show you some of the stuff I found um <laughs> Dora says I'm a little jealous I finally want to play too yeah likes l liking the styles is where well painterly yeah and I'll show you what I did um we'll jump in and some of these, I'm, I was just like, oh my gosh, this is just so much fun. So cool. And Stuart had a good way to kind of talk about it. Whereas, um, instead of using Adobe Stock, in which I will be using Adobe Stock, I'm not going to go away from Adobe Stock. But, you know what? Let's do that. Let's actually try something out. Um... That's, this is, let me close some of this stuff down. Let's jump into Adobe Stock. We are gonna be under the All tab. And let's see where, I believe it's still Sensei. Sensei, got it, got, got their ideas from. So let's go 
retro circus poster. That one's kind of cool. I dig the colors. You can see where it's getting its colors from. Um, this, this is what is so interesting to me. Okay, so this is what we got going on. Retro Circus poster. You can see it right there. Let's jump into Firefly. We're going to go over into the text to image. And by the way, if anybody is new here and you have questions about Adobe Firefly, please put them in chat. We have a lot of smart people here. Does Firefly take only from Adobe stock? General, yes and no. Um, so if once you get in and you go check out the frequent, frequently asked questions on Firefly, Adobe Stock uses, excuse me, Adobe Firefly uses Adobe Stock. Also, thank you, Frank, public domain images. So let's say um, you wanted to do a Van Gogh, a Picasso, something along those lines. You can actually ask for those styles. Uh, okay. And you know what, to be perfectly honest, and I know I've said this before, but I think it needs to be said, that is why I, this is the first time that I've ever played with AI. I've, I haven't tried anything else. Uh, Pinkasso, Pink, Pink Casso. All right, <clears throat> we're gonna go retro. Circus poster and hit generate. And I am gonna we're gonna we're gonna keep so if you contribute to Adobe Stock, are you giving them permission to use images your images in Firefly? You can opt out. I don't know how, Caroline, but you can opt out. If you don't want Firefly to be able to use your work, and it's let it be let it be vectors or anything like that. You can opt out. I haven't looked into it because I don't care. Um, avoid fake news, images, generation, proper, yeah. All right, Liddy still says, still waiting for permission. Okay, let's jump into this. So you can see what we've got going here. Um, <laughs> it's getting closer, General. It is getting closer. And, you know, none of these are kind of what I want. So first off, let's go up here and I want to go portrait. There, ooh, now we're getting something better. Um, Caroline says, I wouldn't mind if you get credited, but I'm guessing you don't. As of right now, you don't, but they're also trying to figure out possibly in the future how artists can get paid. So, I mean, this, we're so, we're what, two weeks into this? I got it, I think, two weeks ago. Um, so, yeah. All right. So first off, we've got we've got our portrait. Uh, I dig using the art for this. Let's see what we want to do. Let's go chaotic. So we're gonna go hit that. And mm -mm. let's try psychedelic. I want. There is, where was it? Where was it? Techniques. Palette knife. That's what I want right there. Palette knife. Want that for sure. Let's go ahead and generate. Uh, 
Okay, now we're getting someplace. Now we are getting some cool results. That one is cool. Oh, I'm digging that one. Like it looks though, it looks like it says carcass, which is not good. Um, go ahead, let's see similar to that one. Keep trying. Let's check out effects. Go oh, bioluminescent materials. Nope. Gonna leave it. Let's go nostalgic and turn off chaotic. All right. <clears throat> Text circus and prompt, and it should resolve quickly as it's just one word. Um, actually. We can we can try it. That's fine. Uh, this is crazy because this is not like anything I was getting before. Okay. Thanks. Thanks there, Gareth. You you, you broke it. You, you broke it. Hold on. Let's do this. Wait, way to break it. That's why we can't have nice things, Gareth. Every time I come home with something nice, you're like, Sean, try this, try this, and it breaks. <laughs> way to go, Gareth. <clears throat> Annika, hello. What I was actually thinking of, <laughs> Gareth says I break it every day. Now, oh right, this this went into a completed, completely diff different uh, direction that I don't want. Um, let's go circus tent poster because I don't want the text in the earlier ones of the tents that I showed you. Even if, even if it had some of the text and it was wrong, um, I was actually going to just get rid of it and put in my own text. Gotta get milk. Run, Caroline. Okay. Why can't it figure out text? Curious. I don't know. I don't know, and I don't like the direction that these are going. These are not going, so let's go in and we're going to turn off psychedelic. We're going to try steampunk. See what that gets. Maybe we need to change up the, the color and tone. Still. Okay, we're getting rid of the circus text. Mm, 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 mm. Ch -ch -ch. And if this is if this doesn't start working, we're gonna go to the ones I actually liked and that. Okay. I'm liking these. I was about to give up. <laughs> I was going to say, no, nope, we're done. We're done with this. I got something I like. That's nice. I like the colors. I'm liking the texture. Um, that's a possibility. It, it, yeah. That's funky. I'm digging that. Okay, let me go ahead. We're going to download that one. Hit OK. Let's give that a thumbs up. And ch -ch -ch.
Let's go ahead, let's hit find similar similar first. All right, talking about the text. Gareth, ooh, ooh, ooh. Gareth says, I don't think they intended it to be used for text on stuff, but there are lots of people seeing how much they can get out of m out of it. My record is seven words on some chocolate, which says life is like a box of chocolates. I like that one. That one, that's a keeper. That's a keeper. And you know what? Let's just do, let's do one more. One more time. <laughs> Marina, thank you, but it's not my work. Hopefully you're saying that to Sensei. Um, <clears throat> Megan, hello. Good to see you. I hope you're having a great day. Uh, like that. Let's. I think I'm done. I am. Uh, I am done. Go ahead. Open up the downloads. Okay. Sandrine says, these are good, great compositing material here. That is kind of the way I'm looking at it. Oh, I love that blue one. New tires days. It's an expensive day, but worth it. Oh, we can just close that one. We don't need that. Do want, let me open up my other ones. Um, while I'm, while I'm searching, I had to get some new tires and living here in Germany with an American style car or an American vehicle, you cannot just say, oh, I'm going to go buy tires. Um, it's almost impossible to find. That's not where it is. It's almost impossible to find and usually extremely expensive to get tires for an American vehicle. Um, Surprisingly, I found a mechanic that was able to knock it out pretty quick and inexpensive for me. All right, let me take a look at these. Yeah, I dig that one. That's got a totally different feel going on. I love that one, but it's almost too much. What is your car? Come on, a Hummer. There was a gentleman here, Frank. Now, okay, so just if anybody doesn't know, Frank used to live in France. He's French. He lives in Canada now. Um, so he understands French, uh, European roads. They're small. And, um, because they don't have to be able to do 250k an hour. That's true. So, um, oh, where was I going with this? So there was a guy here, an American who was living here that owned a Hummer and a smart car. Now, I know if you live in Europe, you know that there's a there's a bunch of different versions of smart cars. For Americans, the only ones that we know about are the little bubbles. But of course, there's a smart um, sports car, a little smart sedan, you know, other smart smart cars but he had one of the little bubble ones so it's like this smart car could actually fit in the back of his hummer uh, um okay yeah gareth yeah i i love this i love that one um Okay, I think I know what I want to do. Let's go ahead. Open that one. Ferrari tires are not cheap. You should have thought about that first, Sean. 
Yeah, I shouldn't have bought that, bought that Ferrari. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I bought I got it cheap I ended up you know the baby seat wouldn't fit in it <clears throat> okay so I am I'm liking that one that one what do we got there we go That seems too, almost too subtle, too subtle. But let's let's just get working. Let's get working. So first off, um, we not layer comps, uh, content credentials. We're going to go ahead and enable that. And if you're new into Photoshop and you don't know about the content credentials, you can come up here to Windows and scroll down to Content Credentials. So when you download something from Firefly and it asks or it tells you it's going to add the content credentials, what you want to do is make sure to jump in and add it also in, in Photoshop. So as a preview, you can see it's got who I am. It's got my links and it's going to be telling me, telling you or telling whoever looks at it, everything that I've done. So let's go through and just enable all of these. Okay, we can close that down. We've got them enabled. Let's jump into our first one. There we go. I'm going to hit T for text. Click right there. Let's get our text, which is zebra wood. Wow, I was typing faster. Uh, regular. Let's open up my libraries. And you know what? I'm not. I'm going off brand. We're gonna we're gonna go ahead and use um, whatever is in whatever colors that we've got within text within our image. Not bad. Okay. Go ahead. Let's give this an warp style text. Let's check out an arc. Mm, 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 mm. This might not look good. Might get a little too cattywampus. Hitting V for the move tool. They should port Fresco's auto color palette when importing a picture to Photoshop. I don't even know they did that, Gareth. Wow. Um, I don't know if I like that. I don't know. Let's go ahead and do a color overlay. Let's grab a color. I'm just kind of testing things out right now, seeing what I like, what I don't. Let's 
Tangerine says the auto perspective is also something that you could add in Photoshop from Fresco. You have auto perspective? See, this is where I learned from you people. Take the photo and it deducts a perspective grid it deducts the perspective grid from the photo wow l third hello uh maybe try a darker color daryl's daryl sane and fill in the type with the color i was i was thinking about that i was messing around with that in um in illustrator And if I do that, let's go ahead. Let's do this. Um, let's go ahead, delete that. We're going to hit T for text. And Daryl's got a great idea, so we're going to do it. Hitting T for text. We're going to go uh, spell it. Spell it wrong, Sean. Okay. Getting back into our properties. Let's see what we've got here. Take that a little bit closer. Optical. Actually, no. Yeah, we're getting there. Okay, hitting V for the move tool. I'm going to hold Option. We're going to create, grab a second one. We're going to hit T for text, Command A, select it all. Then we're going to go into our fill. Boom, there is our fill. We're going to hit OK. Let's go ahead, grab that color right there. Hitting OK, hitting V for the move tool. Drag that one behind. I'm going to call this one back. Man zero. Select both of these. Holding shift down, go command G. Get that into a group and call this title. You know what? Instead of doing a group, maybe I should do a... Uh, Oh, turn off. <sighs> turn off. Auto select. I'm going to do, instead of that, let's go ahead and turn it into a smart object. So using a shortcut key, turn that into a smart object. We have it right there. Now, double clicking, we've got to go in. Now, this is where it gets kind of crazy. So, as you can see, uh, I've got my creative circus right there, and it brings it in as a smart object. But what happens is you look how small the canvas is. So, if I want to make any changes or adjustments here, um, yes, I did make it in Firefly. Uh, if I want to make any adjustments, what we have to do is we got to come up here and go and do image. And let's go to canvas size, go canvas size. And it's really small, so let's do, let's let it have, do some math for me. Times three, times three. Oh, I hate it when it does that. <clears throat> times three. Okay, there we go. Now we've got some room to play. Let's go ahead. We're going to open that. Let's grab both of those, hit T for the text tool, going in, let's go, what did we do? Was it flag or wave? I'm actually trying
Okay. Stuart says, I wonder if it's worth when working on Firefly image that you increase the quality and res the best you can. We can do that anytime, Stuart. Um, give me a second and we will. Yeah, I dig that. Okay. Now, it only... No, it did both. Okay, let's go... Oh, let me grab the top one. Hit T for text. Go into our properties. Go a bit darker. Hitting OK. Command S to save. Let's close that down. I dig that. That's kind of cattywampus. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Okay, so Stuart says, let's make it bigger. So I'm going to unlock that layer. First off, I'm going to go Command J just to make sure that I don't screw anything up. We're going to turn that into a smart object. We're going to take that smart object, go up to filter, neural filters, jumping into neural filters. We can zoom out just a bit so we can see what's going on. And I'm going to come down to super zoom. Um, is not what I use super zoom for but we're going to we're going to just do a two times increase and it just got much bigger 16 meg it went from 4 to 16 meg so we're going to bring this out as a new layer we're going to hit ok and there's our new layer we need to go to uh, image and reveal all so clicking on reveal all now we've got our image so if i bring our smart object hitting v for the move tool this is the original size image that we had and we've just done it can you zoom in to see what the quality is like absolutely let me pick an area that's going to be sharp all right <clears throat> Wrong way. <laughs> All right. So this is the original uh, right there. We can kind of see we've got starting to pixelate right there. I'm at 600% also zoom. Now, if we come over here, we're getting the same pixelation happening as we've got right here. And see that right there right there so it is pretty much exactly the same um, which you should if you think about it let's see here if you if you take something um, you double the size and all you're doing is doubling the pixels you double the size the same zoom, you should have the exact same amount of pixels. And it doesn't matter the size of your image, it would just be the fact of the amount of pixels. Yeah, I think that's right. That sounds right to me. If somebody else has, has another theory with that, let me know. I know there are sites that are AI image enhancing popping up. We were talking about this we were talking about it this week. We were talking this week about it. <clears throat> Swatches from images in Photoshop, open library, down on the plus, open capture, extract from image. Doris, absolutely. And we're gonna, let's, tangent time, everybody. I'm gonna just delete that. <clears throat> Command Z. Okay. Uh, so, I am clicked on my layer right here above my head. 
what we're going to do is we're going to jump into my libraries over here. And up here, you see this plus in your libraries, not Stuart's. There's Stuart. Hey, Stuart. Uh, you, you've got this plus right here in your libraries. If you click on it, you will see extract from image. The CA is actually <laughs> is capture, uh, which you may know on your phone. So if I click on that, you're going to see, <clears throat> hey, Stuart. We can get everything we've got. We've got pattern shapes. Oh, I should have used. Oh. Oh, that would have been so much smarter. I'm I'm dumb sometimes. Oh my gosh, I'm dumb sometimes. I didn't even think of this. Look at this pattern I made. <clears throat> Yes, missed opportunity. I didn't even think about it. So I made this pattern in Illustrator and I used, of course, our wandering color palette. Uh, I was thinking about using it as um, a pattern for R, for the community's Behance project that I will be making live possibly Thursday uh, or at least start making it. And I did not even cross my mind to make it and capture. Oh, let's make a pattern and capture. Oh my goodness. Um, I like this color palette. I like the color palette. Let me check out. Oh my goodness. Bruce says yes, please. I like that one, but we're gonna we're gonna go with that the first one. <clears throat> okay. First off, we're gonna. I'm. Go back into capture dang it and up here at the top let's go to color themes uh if we click on color themes you can see right away capture jumps in and is able to grab what which colors you want and you can move these around so if i'm like you know no i want this darker blue right there i don't want two i don't want a red and an orange um go for that dark green right there dig that i dig that and i don't want brown but with like this salmon right there and it's given us our swatches and our hex codes right there you can actually come through and say nope give me the muted ones no nah, give me the dark ones so we've got little presets that is a nice color palette that's a nice one um I like that. We're gonna save that one. We're gonna save that. Boom, it's saved to my CCs. So next off, let's jump in and I want it to make a pattern. So first off, we need to look at our scaling um trying friend trying friend. Right, I, what do you mean, Bruce? Oh, oh, I got you. I didn't see what Daryl said. Sorry, Bruce. <sighs> Sorry. Make this bigger. Let's make it bigger. See what we got going on here. Okay. <clears throat> so first off, we want to make sure that we are dealing with colors. Let's get... Nope. Nope. That's cool. That's a no. Getting too much. Oh, oh, ooh. Whoa. what we've got going on can you double click no nope. gotta do it gotta do it 
Come on, come on, you can do it. Get back to zero. Ah, one's close enough. Ah. Uh, this, the part that's kill. Okay, now we're getting someplace cool. Okay. I was not liking the fact Kaleidoscope Creative Circus. You know me, Devlin. Too much yellow. Too much yellow. Let's see what we got. Okay. Now, everybody, make sure, you know, let me know what you think because this is actually might be used in um, our Behance project. It's getting cool. Ooh, do you think that's... Yeah, as a background, Bruce. You think that's too much? How do I get rid of the red notification in Discord? Ooh. Yes, yep. Changing the colors. Is, well, it's not so much changing the colors as I will probably mute it. Caroline, did you get some milk? Oh, I'm digging that. I'm digging that right there. I think that's it. It's almost like you're looking down. Oh, all right, we're going to save that. It's like you're looking down at the top of the tent. So that's cool. Now I want to see what it looks like. So let's go over. We are going to go pattern fill. It's not going to be hitting OK. Ooh. I like it. I'm happy. I am happy. Whoever brought up capture, good on you. I already forgot who it was. I think it was Doris. I'm just double checking. Doris, yes. Doris, this is for you. Hopefully you're still here, but boom. Make it as a tie pattern. Yeah, I could. I could. Henrik says, that's why I love Adobe Capture so much. It's so much easier. Yeah. <clears throat> that was, that was easy. <laughs> no, Doris, thank you. Let's go Command T. Now, I may need to remake this. Yeah, I am. Even though it's a smart object, it's all messed up. So we're going to delete it. Um, I'm not liking that. You know. Yeah, let's. Hitting T for text. Okay, I'm just I'm checking the time. I want to make sure that we've got enough time before Tony streams. Um, going into our properties. I 
I put an animal for the circus in your Firefly channel. Okay, Oliver, you're scaring me. But I'll, let me look. But I am not looking live. <laughs> Oh my gosh, who hasn't? Oh. Got your flying unicorn elephant for the circus. <laughs> Murat, hello? Oh my gosh, thank you, Oliver. Got a whole bunch of stuff been added. Get back into Photoshop. I'd like to get something done today. Um, L is saying... You can create a curve and insert text there, something more ellipse, maybe. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna I'm gonna try it out. Uh okay, hitting V for the move tool. We're gonna go ahead and copy that one. Hitting T for text. Command A. We are gonna take this over to our fill text. And let's go in and grab that as our filled text and hit OK. Grabbing our background, putting it there, hitting V. Go ahead, group that. You're not letting me. Okay. All right. Be that way, Photoshop. Oliver says I generated some undead pirate too, but decided not to post them. is the discord channel um l if you're talking about my discord channel you can scroll right below the stream and it says join sean's discord um i see why you're the ringmaster it was daryl's idea and i actually dig it i like i like where that's going so next off we need to go ahead uh door says in two lines i don't think so doris i it i was thinking it through and um i mean we of course we can try it uh let's go command j let's hit v for the move tool go ahead because the good thing these are still live <clears throat> hitting t for text coming in Okay. Thank you, L. All right, let's go ahead. Just delete that one for right now. Grab that one. Queen B, hello. Little bit, okay. Good to see you, Biola. 
hitting V for the move tool, holding option, we're going to delete that, T for text, ah, command, select all, go into fill, we need to go ahead, grab a color, let's grab that, let's hit OK, all right. Putting that on the back. All right. Got those grouped. Hitting V for the move tool. I thought I had both of those. Shoot. What did I just do? Command Z. Ah, I think I put it in the wrong. Yep. I did. Stay in that group. There we go. All right. Um, Viola, there is a um adobe live meetup coming up in new york city i was making sure to tell bruce about it yeah you know okay oh i don't like the the creative um I don't know. I'm I'm having a difficult time here. I don't know. Let me know in chat. What, what, what do you prefer? Hi, Jack. Hi, Chris. Uh, Daryl says, I heard last week that most big game studios have banned AI artwork used for the, from their artists and designers. I think that's, that's good. Uh, did you want it straight or curved? I want it curved to go, to go along with this circle here. So I'm kind of... I don't know. I'm torn. I am torn. I am torn. Um, Oliver says, oh yeah, I forgot to say my desktop Behance notification suddenly started working again after the latest M Mac OS update. And how come nobody's told me to save? I mean, I haven't done anything. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Oh, uh. Okay, that's funny. Um, so T for text. I don't know what I want? We need. We need a. Oh, sorry about that, everybody. That was probably loud. Go with a pattern. One of my favorite patterns. All right, let's bring down the opacity. I mean, there's already a ton of texture going on, but I always, I always like to add a little bit more. This is funky. This is really weird. Um, 
So we've got two leg. Eh, I'm fine with it. I'm okay. All right, we need. Let's go ahead. We'll just get rid of that text right now. I agree, Daryl. It's the fear of a lawsuit. I completely agree with it. Yeah. I mean, nobody knows. Okay. No. We're going to talk about it really quick. <clears throat> Big head mode. So nobody has really said, and this is before Firefly was released. Nobody was really coming out and saying what the legal, possible legal ram ramifications who owns the work, who can use the work, all of this stuff. I mean, it's like they say, it's a wild, wild west. Um, and so the idea, you know, Adobe has come out with Firefly and they are laying it out. They're just saying, oh, okay, absolute no commercial use yet. We'll let you know, no commercial use. Um, I think it's very intelligent. They're trying to be transparent. Now that's Adobe. Good on you, Adobe. I applaud you for that. Uh, everybody else, I would be like really kind of nervous uh, to use anything else. And because of that, you don't know about the lawsuits. Maybe widen circus, stretch it. I was thinking the opposite, Devlin. <laughs> we could go. Uh, I was actually thinking like. Bringing it in like that. That actually makes it, yeah, that's easier to read. Okay. <clears throat> we need um, text. Ooh, how do you spell cometh? I don't even know how to spell that. I think. Ah, thank you, Devlin. Tomorrow is the deadline. Winter is coming. I can't even focus right now. <clears throat> Go ahead, just make this white for right now until we get something going. Uh, let's see, what do we want? Can we type in class classifications? We can't, but we could. Cometh the hour, cometh the man. Ooh. That's kind of scary sounding. I don't think we're going to be an express. I think we're done. It's stock. Let's use fonts. Font.adobe. Do we still have horror? Uh, we do. We do. That might be too... Mm -mm. That backspacer, I have not seen that before. I think I know which one I, one I want to use. And it's not schlop. 
Let's try it. Let's jump over into Photoshop. I, I think I know. Too much emphasis on the dead part of deadline with some fonts. That's funny. This is going to be really freaking hard. Nor hello. Uh, let's see here. wrong oh Sean come on come on buddy come on don't be like that Okay, I'm missing a ton of chat. I'm sorry, everybody. That is like impossible to read. have seen the clown I saw advertising it was on my way home ooh okay let's go ahead let's grab that blue there grab the deadline grab that Create a little banner that hangs over the front of the tent with enough space for the wording. Okay. Let's go in to, not the banana tool. Uh, where am I? Custom shapes. And I just do command D elected something. <clears throat> Stuart says Firefly. Oh my gosh. You are killing me. Killing me, Stuart. banner uh, while that's generating let's jump over into Photoshop got to be a yellow uh, L says banana tool, just hoping that minions don't discover it. Oof. Oof. 
Japan. Uh, L, I doubt if you know this, but I am the founder of the ABCs, which is the Adobe Banana Crew. <clears throat> That's getting there. Um... Hmm. Well, that's even better. That's even better. Ribbon style. Okay, hold on. Let me let me download this one before I start messing anything up. All right. That's that one is good, so but not what I want. Let's use that as a reference in widescreen. Yeah, I think I want I want like burlap burlap bag or something like that. Um Yeah, this one's it. That's it. <clears throat> That's the one we're going to use. Okay. Oh, you freaking... Okay. We're going to deal with it. We'll deal with it. Object selection. Come on, you can do it. I want the lasso. Give me a rectangle. Really? I think that's part of it. Let's go into select and mask. I'm gonna smooth it. I'm gonna give it a feather and shift edge, shift edge. And a little more. There we go. And let's put this out to a new layer. Getting okay. <clears throat> Or are we? There what it is. Dang it. Well, that'll work. Turning that into a smart object, we are going to double click, go into our effects. We first off, we need to go to a color overlay, not that. I'm gonna grab that right there and hit OK. And let's go soft light. Let's 
screen. It looks pretty good. Hitting OK. We can go Command T. It would be funny if it spits out a black canvas after input and read my mind. <laughs> oh my goodness. Come on. I'm sorry I'm not talking much. I am just, I'm really focused. You guys you are pushing me today. Get it done, Sean. Get it done. Come on. Stuff to do. don't mind a really hard drop shadow like that um that actually looks pretty good okay we need i want a canvas so we are gonna go we've got a color overlay let's do a pattern over hmm, okay and i know that we've got canvas it's right there is canvas you go multiply perfect perfect daryl says or stuart says come work with daryl and i you'd sleep well at the end of the day that's funny <clears throat> okay I am, I'm kind of, it does look like paper. I, I, I'm okay with that. Go so command S. I did, I, I really wanted, I really wanted to get with this, play with this one. I'll, I'll save it. We may, well, I don't know. I may do something with this, but, um, go ahead, close some of these downs. I'm not going to be getting to these, but I got to say, I'm quite impressed with some of the stuff that came out. Um, let's, Coles will fight it. Oh, okay. Hold on. <clears throat> Wait for it. So, let's push this. We're going to go Command, Option, Shift, E. So I've got a duplicated layer right there of all the... I, I merged visible layers into a single layer without merging all the layers. So I've got my layer right there. We're going to go Command, J. We're going to turn that one into a smart object. Next off, we're going to go filter, blur, 
Gaussian blur. And that's a good blur, 23 pixels. We're gonna hit okay. We're gonna go filter, not neural filters, cancel out of that. Uh, we're gonna go filters, camera raw filter. And we're gonna come over to the exposure and we're gonna kick that up by one stop. We're gonna hit okay. Next off, on that top layer, let's come down to overlay. Overlay is popping too much. Soft light is good. So that's what it was before. That's what it was after. This is called the Orton effect. Um, it's just to give it a little bit of a blur, a little bit more of a pop. There's a lot of artists that like to do this. Uh, I did not. I did not invent this. It is called the Orton effect. It's been around for a long time. I just like doing it. Why should I run a high pass filter on it, Daryl? You have to explain to me why before I'll do it. While you explain it, I'll do it. <laughs> We're going to go Command J. Um, let's turn off both of those filters. We're going to take that one. I know why, don't tell them. Okay, let's go filter, and that is under other bypass. And I believe Daryl is just trying to sharpen it. It gives a tiny, tiny sharpness that makes the image <coughs> pop. It doesn't have to be used for photography. It just adds an extra pop. Okay, well, here, then you guys are the illustrators. In photography, I use high pass filters. Um, I use high pass filters when I'm doing uh, frequency separations. So with this, Am I trying to take it down to just the bare minimum that you can just barely see what's going on? Or am I trying to bring out the detail like this? Less is more. Okay, so it's the same. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead, hit okay. I need to Turn that one back on. We're gonna go Command J. And let's grab both of these. So Shift, Command G, and Orton. Turn that one off. We're gonna grab, the, uh, this one needs to go on top. And we need to go to a, I believe, soft light? Overlay, overlay. Ooh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I'm with that. Okay, let's grab both of those. Let's group that. We're going to call this high pass. Man zero. You know what? No, let's zoom back in. Get back in here. <clears throat> it is two totally opposite effects. So this is with the Orton effect, which is uh, giving it more brightness and just really trying to give it a little bit more pop. And then the Orton, or excuse me, the high pass is really just bringing out the details, giving it a bit of sharpness, which I like. Um, they're two totally different techniques. I'm, I'm digging the high pass. All this progress is about slightly adding things to just give it that little extra push, yep. Then play with the opacity if you think it's too strong. No, I don't think it's too strong at all. So that's the Orton. 
the Orton, here's the problem. The with the Orton effect, because I blurred it, we lost all of that detail, all the texture that we had. Um whereas yours, you can really see it, especially like up here. So that's interesting because I spend all this time adding texture and patterns and trying to make it look good and then I blur it and take all the texture away. <laughs> oh, Sean, <clears throat> why, why, why? So Daryl, <clears throat> you won this round. Let's go. Uh, let's see. Whoa, get back here. Um, what do I want to do? I'm thinking this through. Let's go to the high pass right there. We're going to go filter, export, export as <clears throat> JPEG. Let me think here. Um, So 1080. We're going to turn that up to 7. Publish. Important. Publish the content credentials to the cloud. All right. Go ahead. Export that one. Just throw it on the desktop. Hitting save. Well, that's what I should have done. Stuart is saying you could e add even a noise layer. So that is so slight to give a vintage feel. Adding a na noise, noise, noise layer. Yeah, that would have been smart. Um, usually I do that in Adobe Camera Raw and not adding a layer, but that is a possibility. <clears throat> Let's not do that. Where am I? I'm in Firefox. We need to go to Express. Noise, noise. Go to Scheduler. New post. Actually, push the button for Sean. Come on. Uh, all right, fine. We're not going to do this. <clears throat> I was going to do it. Not going to do it. You remember Firefox? I. Okay, let me switch over. I'm going to I'm going to publish this really quick and then we're going to call it a day. Tony Harmer is going to be streaming soon, and I want to get out of here and watch Tony. So, give me a quick second, everybody. I'm... Okay, now I can switch screens. There we go. Let me switch sides. I mentioned fire. Oh, did I say Firefox? That's funny. Uh, I have truly missed your streams. We've missed you. Be missed you, Biola. I have no filters, no filters. Write a caption. Let me grab my notes really quick here. Get up here. There you go. R. Command C, get rid of the notes. Command V, we need hashtag creative. Whoops. Circus. Uh, 
uh tomorrow spell it right tomorrow is the creative and spell it wrong come on sean it's supposed to be wrong creative circus challenge deadline Hope to see your work soon. Uh, ch -ch -ch I gotta put the date, don't I? April 5th, 2023, 11.59 p.m. C.E.S.T. Let's see. Anything else? Oh, geez. Hashtag Firefly. Hashtag Photoshop. Tomorrow is the creative creative circus challenge deadline. Hope to see. Hope to see your work soon. All right. We're good to go. Let's go ahead and share that. <clears throat> Behance live stream. I don't I don't really promote myself that much. I mean, in reality, I should. I mean, the crazy thing, talking talking about promoting, go over to, I mean, <clears throat> my live streams, I've got 31 subscribers. Thank you, Lydia. Thank you, Doris. 31 subscribers, and they're probably all you. <laughs> and here, uh, let's see how this works. So, <clears throat> this is crazy. I average on YouTube, like, you know, 5, 12 views, nothing. Look at the Firefly. Look at that. 492. I haven't gotten into, into the 20s in anything. I make something in Firefly, and it goes, for me, it explodes. Because, you know, I'm nobody. Secretly, I follow him everywhere. <laughs> and I appreciate it, Stuart. Oh, my goodness. That's funny. Okay. What's this Firefly thing? I'm new. Are you... Tell me you're joking. People looking for clips from the Firefly TV show. Nor, you have to tell me you're joking. Yes or no. Because I've got maybe five minutes. And I'll do it. We'll jump into Firefly if you want me to. I'm waiting, Nor. For those of you that may not know, Nor and I are buddies. <clears throat> Long time buddies. Long time. Viola says do it. Okay. Queen B says, do it, so I do it. All right, so first off, Adobe Firefly is the new AI. You have two different options as of right now, but coming soon right now, we have text to image and we've got text effects. I've been showing the text to image, so we are gonna do text effects. So first off, making sure I'm on the right side, I am gonna enter the text all the way over here. So you can see it says enter text. And we are going to go Queen B. And we're going to come over. Now we need a description. So let's do a royal. Uh, if I can spell it right. Royal. Queen. King. Let's see what comes up. Oh, 
we gotta change it we gotta change it uh so we let's go then veto we want to go with a black background or we could go purple because it's royal royal purple i'm not digging it as much as the black we'll go black uh we need brown have you not seen this biola <clears throat> okay so we've got a lot of this flourishes that are happening right there if we want more or less what we need to do is we need to use square bracket outline uh is it yep strength equals let's try 20 square bracket oh, square bracket go ahead generate that add fabric i could i mean the thing is if if you want like here bruce um looks like all the steampunk spring sprung it does the strength is too much i need to take that down to maybe 40 let's generate it really quick let's jump back into photoshop while it's generating uh let's go file new i'm gonna go um 1920 by 1080 i just bumped the mic sorry about that everybody we're gonna create that let's go ahead i'm gonna make a not a new layer let's go solid color i'm gonna do that we're gonna add a i'm trying to do this really fast everybody so if i miss chat i apologize again Maybe fur? Not grass. Grass could work. Let's try grass. Yeah, that, that that's okay for what we're trying to do. I'm, I'm happy with that. Let's jump back over into Firefly. And we've got options down here, but I'm, I'm liking what we've got. I like that. So we can come up here and we can copy to clipboard. Now let's jump back into Photoshop and go Command V. Oh, it brought in. That was my fault. Delete that. Let's get back over. Let's go. Background. Oh, are you telling me I can't change it now? You're joking. There we go. Manuel, hello. New here, what are you designing? I am not designing anything. I am adding prompts. So. <clears throat> what is going on with my computer right now? There we go. All right, let's turn that into a smart object. Going Command T. And this is not going to be used for anything at all. It's only for uh, educational purposes on this stream. So on this layer, we're gonna grab the lasso and I'm not gonna save this. Oh, the smart object, command D, jumping in.
command D, command S to save. Closing that down, command zero coming out. Um, Oliver says I need to try the text a bit more. The text is fun. The text is a lot of fun. Um, I really need to get out of here, but let's go ahead just so you can see some of the text stuff. Um, you know, this, this whole like using designer stuff, very cool. The Happy Easter. I mean, look at these rabbits. They, this did such a freaking good job. Look at the P with the rabbit. I, I'm just like, look at this A. The T. Oh, that is just that. That is so awesome. Um, doing the creative circus. Having the lions. I mean, look at that C. That is awesome. You've got the lion head as in the eye. Got a clown in the V. Uh, this is just fun. Taking it in a different direction. Then we got for Jack donuts. Donuts. Firefly. Caroline, this is the first time you've seen Firefly in use. And then me trying to get something going. Um, surf. Now I was just being a jerk in, um, <clears throat> in, in the discord, no prompts here. And then they were being really mean. So I said, be nice and put flowers in it. And then party balloons. So, okay. We need to do, I need to do a quick overview. I did not realize we had people in here that haven't even seen Firefly yet. I apologize. So first off, here is your text. Um, doing it again really quick. Uh, we need something short. Nor. <clears throat> I don't know if Nor is short. He could be very tall. I don't know. And uh, Nor lives on an island. So let's go island uh, palm trees. And spell it right, Sean. Palm trees. We're going to make this go quick. Now, <clears throat> while this is generating, first off, over here at the top, you have sample effects. So if you hit uh, view all, you can see that we've got flowers, snake, driftwood, all of these things. Ooh, let's do jungle vines for Nor. Jungle vines. Uh, we've got lava. So there's all of these things that you've got here going on for samples if you don't have anything. Then you've got your text effect. So you can make it tight, which means there's not going to be anything going outside the box, or you can go all the way to loose where it will go outside the box. Gareth, and, and I showed it earlier, uh, out the square bracket outline minus strength equals a number between 1 and 100, with 100 being the tightest, 10 being the loosest is the way that you can do it. And then you've got only a few choices because this is beta. What if we hit view all? Oh, we have more text. Um, let's do that for Nor. <clears throat> okay. So that is cool. I'm digging that. We've got birds in our vines. I didn't ask for birds. Oh, it says jungle vine and bird. Okay. And as you scroll down, then you can actually add in your background colors. Once you get it, you have a choice. If you turn off your background, I did not mean to hit cancel. Let me cancel that. If you hit the three dots right there, you can submit to the gallery, copy to the clipboard so you can copy and paste or report it. You download it. It adds the content credentials from Adobe. So that is absolutely awesome. Um, the avoidance is avoid equals whatever you want to avoid okay cancel out of that so it's it's basic as in the controls but this is fun the text is fun all right next off we are gonna go and i'm again gonna knock this out quick we are gonna jump into text to image 
do ABC with bananas. I I cannot turn that down, Caroline. I cannot turn that down. Uh, let's go A. Ooh, will it do commas? Oh, that'd be awesome if it used bananas for the... Oh, I can't do it that way. Dang it, I want to. A, B, C's. There we go. Bananas. Come on, baby. Give me some bananas. <laughs> oh. I'm disappointed. I'm I'm actually Let's try a different one. I was I was so excited for this. So excited. That's better. That's better. Okay. Mm. Mm. Here we go. Banana split. Okay, that's better. That's more fun. That's more fun. Um, <clears throat> let's get out of that. Still a little disappointed. We're going to knock this out really quick. We're going to go into generate. Now, you can't really use people, but you can make anything that you want. So I know that. Um, let's do a llama monster. Llama monster attacking, come on, attacking New York City. This is for you, Queen Bee. Hitting, generate. Oh, okay. Gareth didn't even break it. Oh, I can't use attacking. I can't use attacking. Um, attacking is a, a violent word. I can't use attacking. I forgot. Um, a teddy bear. Okay. We're going to say... Um, wait. Giant teddy bear. Um... What, what do we want to say? What's a what? Uh, not attacking. Um, oh my god, Biola. Hugging. Um, the Empire State Building. I don't know if this is going to work. Steve says, walking down busy city street. Well, that's that's no no come on come on sensei i'm trying to show you off here <laughs> it's like don't give me that don't give me that oh okay giant teddy no that's the climbing we let's go let's go um Go King Kong. You need to employ a prompt engineer, Sean. I do. What is this? What is this? I'm not trying to be cute. Oh. Nathan, hello. Ra. Um. Okay, we need... No, no. We need to get back to our llama... Monster climbing, climbing a building in New York City. <sighs> Come on, Sensei. Come on. <laughs> Uh, 
Okay, that is terrifying. That is terrifying. No, 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 that's not a deer, Bruce. That's a llama. It's a double-headed llama climbing a building. I mean, look at this. It's It actually even has has the moon. Oh. That llama's like, what are you looking at? Huh? Huh? What are you looking at? <laughs> oh, okay. We got to push it. So, once you create a prompt, you have a couple different things. You can come up here to download it. Download it. Where are we? You can download it. I got to down. No, I won't download. Then you've got options. You can submit to the Firefly Gallery. You can use it as a reference image, which I will do in a moment. You can copy to a clipboard or you can report. If you want to find similar, you can actually click right there and it will find similar. So let's see how we do. <laughs> Um, meh. Okay, so by default, right now, we are at our content style, which is art. You can do none, photo, or graphic. Then you have a series of different styles. So as of right now, we are going to go ahead, turn this into a reference image. Now you see it over here, it turns into the reference image. It is in our block. And it's you can actually use this slider if you want it closer to the reference image, which we want, rather than the prompt. So at this time, that's getting too close, but we can, let's go photo, and we're gonna do this really quick. Let's go digital art. We're gonna go psychedelic, no, steampunk, turning off psychedelic. Um, let's go into our themes. We're going to go hyper realistic techniques. That's good. Effects. We want to go dark because I mean, a llama's climbing a building. Okay, Nor, I'll read in a second. Let me just go through this. We want to go chaotic for our concepts. Tone and lighting. Let's go cool. Um, golden. No, golden hour. You can't go cool, cool tone in a golden hour. Yeah, we can. We'll do that. No dramatic, dramatic lighting. And we're gonna go shot from below for the composition, generate. <sighs> okay, Nor says, will this service allow unlimited prompts of because paid afterwards? Does anybody know? Nor, as of right now, while it is in beta, what we've got going on is it is unlimited prompts because it's in beta. You cannot use these for commercial uses so this is personal use only um god i don't like the way this is going <clears throat> what's going to happen in the future well i don't know nobody knows but initially what they were talking about is implementing oh my god that's awesome Im oh my god implementing this into adobe express adobe illustrator and um adobe photoshop Manuel says, what do you mean commercial? You can't sell it. You can't use this for business yet because what will happen, let me download this. Um, you cannot use it commercially yet. You can't use it for your business. You can't use it to sell. You can't use it to make money. Uh, what you've got, let me open this up so you can see what I'm talking about. Um, down here, image at watermark. You cannot take off. Uh, I am an Adobe Express ambassador, so Adobe knows me. I'll put it that way. But <clears throat> you can't take the watermark off, and it says image not for commercial use. So it cannot be used for businesses. <laughs> shh, shh, nor general, general, shh. Um, it's in beta. That's That's the one thing. Oh, you still can't take it off. I, you know what? I was only using part of the image, Annika. <clears throat> yeah, I have a few crazies that insist to buy them. Well, we can't yet. Is this guy like chained up? I have no idea what's going on with that llama. But 
<clears throat> anyway, we're going to see where this goes. Um, if you are really interested into a deep dive, you can actually jump over into my live streams where on the very first day that it was released publicly, I did a Firefly stream um, just really trying to play around with it. So that is actually a very helpful stream. It's here and it's on my YouTube um, if you want to check that out. So for those of you that are on uh, Behance, just jump over. Okay, really wow, I am into the process to look more ideas and more flexibility to show out in public. So maybe if you demonstrate them in your own time. Yeah, Manuel, that is absolutely correct. Being able to use Firefly as inspiration, um, completely agree. That's that I feel is probably one of the most powerful uses of Firefly right now. So that's that's my thought okay N devlin devlin says i'm glad sean that you decided adobe ai is okay to play with i i if adobe would have gone in a different direction and have not been so transparent i i wouldn't do it i that's i mean i'm that's kind of how i feel Oh my God. Okay. 10 minutes and Tony is up, I believe. <clears throat> so everybody, I want to thank you for being here. Today was fun uh, making the poster. And if anybody's got questions what about Firefly Express, whatever, you can reach me on my Discord. I'm more than happy to help you. Uh, the llama is singing, I believe I can fly. <laughs> I'm too close to signing off to boot you, Nor. <clears throat> I'm joking, mods don't boot them. Um, check out, okay, Manuel, check out the Discord going over, making sure, I really have to go, so I'm not gonna be able to help you, but go over to the Firefly Discord and you're gonna be able to get all the information that you need right there. So if, if you've got an email, you have information, you have a link to the Discord. Okay. Thank you all for being here. I appreciate you spending your time with me. I, uh, yeah, I will see you in chat later today. We've got a lot going on. So everybody stay safe, stay creative, and just be nice. Bye, Bruce's mom. <laughs>